Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jessica Flynn and I am the owner and maker of Flynn Sisters Boutique. And today's video is gonna be all about Mod Podge versus epoxy method glitter application. So some people prefer using Mod Podge to apply glitter and some people prefer to use epoxy to apply glitter. And then there's some miscellaneous methods in between there. But I just kind of want to show you guys the difference and the benefits of one versus the other. Of course, like I always say, find what works best for you and stick with that. Don't take my word for it because what might work for me may not necessarily work for you. So I just kind of want to show you guys the difference in the application and the technique. And then you can draw your own conclusions from there. So I hope you guys enjoy the video. You know you're going to find all the products that you see listed and linked down below in the description box. You might even find some discount codes for you there as well. And while you're there, be sure to check out all the links for our social media. We're on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok. We have a lot of fun over on TikTok. And if you haven't already, please be sure to subscribe to our channel. It really helps us out. So that's enough chit chat for me. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, so to get started, I've got a 12 ounce skinny straight tumbler from Craft Haven and I've already put my cup arm in. I use cup arms from the Bowen on Etsy. I'll have their shop link down below. They make my whole like Turner system and everything. So absolutely love these cup arms. They just like squish in and then you tighten them um, at the base here to get them nice and snug. Um, and now we are going to prep our tumbler. All right, so to prep, we're going to use a uh, sand, like a sanding block, doesn't matter what grit. Uh, I use between 60 to 220, whatever I have closest to me, I guess. Um, and just, you know, a light scuff up is fine. You're at your bottom. All right, and then after we've got that all scuffed up, I'm gonna take a little bit of acetone and a paper towel. And I'm gonna clean all that stuff off. All right, and so now our tumbler is prepped and ready to go. So what I will do next is spray paint a base coat. Now for this particular video, I wanna just use white because I'm gonna be using a white glitter because I feel like that white glitter is going to show the differences um, the most. So. Um, I'm just going to use a flat white spray paint. My favorite to use is Rust-Oleum two times flat white. Um, so I'm going to go outside, spray paint it, and then I'll join you back inside to start on the glittering process. All right, so we're going to start with our Mod Podge uh, section first so I can show you guys how I apply glitter with Mod Podge. <laughs> Um, and to, I want to do both sides, like both comparisons on the same cup. So I'm going to do Mod Podge on one side and then epoxy method on the other side. So I'm going to start by sectioning off my cup. We're just going to mask this cup off with some painter's tape. Hopefully we get it right down the middle. All right, so I have half of my cup sectioned off here. And that's a little bit more than half maybe, but whatever. <laughs> All right, and then I got my Mod Podge in a little dish here. And then I have some um, warm water with dish soap. And I've got my special Mod Pod brush. I really like this brush when I work with Mod Podge because it just helps to get really smooth application. I also use this when I do like tack it method uh, adhesive as well. Um, a lot of people like to put this into condiment bottles and just squirt it on and then brush it out. And I think that's fantastic. I just didn't have any on me because I don't really use Mod Podge a lot. So I didn't have any of those fancy bottles. 
Um, so we're just gonna work with what we have, okay? Um, and it's been my experience that it doesn't really matter what like kind of Mod Podge you work with. Um, always tend to get very similar results. So basically what I do is I just get a good amount on there, enough to coat the cup, and then I start to smooth it out with the Mod Pod brush. The one thing about Mod Podge is it dries really quickly, um, so you don't have a lot of time to work with it if you have to do some kind of detailed layering work with your glitter, which I do a lot. Um, so that's why I usually prefer epoxy method. This is great if you are just wanting to get the job done quick, okay? So I've got that all smoothed out. You wanna make sure you don't see any lines in your adhesive because those lines will show through on your glitter. So we wanna make sure this is nice and smooth, okay? And the glitter that we're working with today is Nikki from Peachy Olive Glitters. And we're really just gonna let it rip. I'm just doing one color. I'm not doing an ombre, so just get it on there. And then I will aggressively tap off the excess with my scissors. And then I'm gonna let this dry mm, probably for about 30 minutes or so, depending on the heat in my workspace. Um, we'll come back to do a second coat. Back to our project, we finished up the Mod Podge portion of our cup here. So I have let this dry um, overnight, more than overnight, because I had to walk away from it for a while. But you can tell that it's completely dry because the glitter should be crispy. Really, this completely dried in about an hour. Uh, and normally I would do a second coat. However, this first coat came out so beautifully, I didn't really feel the need to apply a second coat. So I'm just gonna leave it just like this. We're gonna remove our tape and then I'm going to apply epoxy so we can see what epoxy method looks like on the other side. All right, and I've got five milliliters of fast setting epoxy here. This is from Illumilite. This is their amazing quick coat. I mixed 2.5 uh, 2.5 milliliters of part A, and then 2.5 milliliters of part B to make five milliliters of epoxy all together. And really this is enough to do probably three or four cups because you need very little of it. So we're just gonna apply this all over. You want a very, very thin coat. You should only be dipping your hands into here just a couple times. Always make sure you use proper uh, personal protection equipment uh, when you're working with epoxy. This is an organic vapor respirator. And we're also working in a well-ventilated area and I have protection on my skin as well. All right, so I've got good even coverage. The goal here, just like with the Mod Podge, is we don't wanna see any lines in our adhesive, okay? Because we're gonna see that through our glitter. We also want to make sure that we have nice, even coats of coverage here so that it's not too thick in one area and less thick in the other. It should be completely consistent. And we also don't want too much because that's going to just soak up all of our glitter and we're going to be forever adding more and more glitter and you shouldn't have to do that. Okay, so you should be able to apply just as much glitter to Mod Podge as you do to Epoxy Method. A long time ago, there was this like misconception that epoxy method soaked up way too much glitter and required more glitter to glitter a cup. Now we know that really it should be about the same if you're using best practice when applying your epoxy as an adhesive. Okay, so I'm using the same glitter color that we used on that first side with the Mod Podge. And we're just gonna 
let it rip over the whole thing. Okay, and then after we get this covered, I'm going to tap off the excess. You kind of see the line here <laughs> from our Mod Podge to our epoxy method. But for the most part, I can't really tell a difference. Okay. So our coverage was the same. Again, usually I have to do two coats of epoxy method or two coats of Mod Podge with my glitter. But whatever I did worked really well because I only had to do one coat and I think I got fantastic coverage. Um, same with this epoxy method. I, the reason I prefer epoxy method to Mod Podge is I get more consistent results and I only usually have to, well, 99.999% of the time I only have to do one coat of glitter, which is why I prefer epoxy method. And I just feel like I get better coverage. However, um, also because I like to have a longer working time, with epoxy method, so if I'm layering different um, shapes and colors of glitter, I like to have that extended window of time to kind of layer and blend. Whereas with Mod Podge, I do not have that kind of time because it's drying so quickly. So in conclusion, I think Mod Podge is a great method for applying like single color glitter or if you are really quick at doing a great ombre, awesome. I for one am not that quick. Uh, so I still would just prefer the epoxy method, um, but both are great. And I think the key here is finding what works best for you and sticking with that. Always be open to different things. I try to stay open to learning different things even after all this time. So from here, I'm gonna let this epoxy method glitter dry for about two hours. Remember, I am using a fast setting epoxy. So your dry times will vary based on the type and brand of epoxy you're using. After this is completely dry, I'm going to apply my first coat of epoxy. Because we're only using one color of glitter, I'm not gonna seal my glitter. I'm just going to tap off the excess before we apply the epoxy over this. All right, and so now that my glitter is dry, I'm ready to apply that first coat of epoxy. Again, I did not seal the glitter because this is just all one color and it's not really gonna move around too much. And I'm not gonna show this process all the way to the very end like I normally would, only because I wanted this video to be more so about the difference in the process of the glitter application with Mod Podge and epoxy. Um, and as you can see, like you really do get solid results either way. So whatever works best for you. And if you find that you like doing epoxy for some jobs and Mod Podge for others, cool, cool, whatever. <laughs> I like them both, honestly, and I was pleasantly surprised at how well that Mod Podge worked for this glitter application. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you have any helpful tips and tricks down in the comments. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel. I upload new videos every Wednesday and Saturday. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you soon. And a big thank you to all of our Flynn Sisters exclusive members. Thank you for your pledge. Your support means the world to our channel. If you love this video, you could check out our last video here. Also be sure to find us on Instagram, Facebook, Pinterest, and of course subscribe for all our new videos that come out every Wednesday and Saturday. Thanks so much for watching. See you soon.